Nerds here from Royal Oaks Country Club. We wanted to talk to you today about uh, chipping and pitching and a couple simple ideas that you can integrate into your game, whether uh, you're out practicing or when you're playing golf. So first and foremost, um, in order to be a good chipper of the golf ball, we need to make sure that the bottom of the club is interacting with the ground correctly. So uh, many times what I see is when somebody's trying to chip, they take the, in the setup, they take the golf club and they move the shaft too far forward in the setup, which makes the leading edge or the front part of the club dig into the ground too much. If you look at the best chippers and pitchers of the ball, what you'll notice is a, a very, what we call neutral setup with the shaft, where the shaft can lean forward slightly, but when it leans forward too much in the setup, then we're uh, using the leading edge too much, okay? So first and foremost, I would make sure that in your setup that the shaft is what we call very neutral, um, 90 degrees to the ground, if you will, in the setup and then what we're trying to do in our swing through impact is try to return the shaft where it started so in other words having the shaft very neutral in the setup and then as I make the swing back down I want the shaft to return as close as possible to where it started uh, the advantage to that as well is you get a lot of loft on the club that you're using and that you're using the back part of the club or the skipping tool, um, which is gonna make the club come in kind of like water skiing, very shallow above the ground. So we're still hitting the ground, but we're uh, just bruising the grass versus, versus digging into the ground, okay? So I think a great way to practice this as well, since I said I'll give you um, two ideas. Number one is neutral shaft in the setup. And then from there, tempo with your chipping motion is extremely important. Very similar to your putting stroke. And a great way to do this, and I've had lots of success with people doing this, is to hit some shots with just your trail hand on the golf club only. And we're just gonna hit some small ones to try to get the feel for this, but feeling a nice, even tempo back and through that is unhurried because many times because we're fearful we're thinking about the outcome versus the process with the shots we get too short and fast with these so we want to make sure that we feel nice and what feels like very even with our backstroke and our through stroke, okay? So um, give those two ideas a try. And uh, if you're still having uh, some trouble, uh, consult one of uh, the golf professionals.